DUP Gaming presents NBA 2K18 Pro Tips Spacing the Floor The Rule of 3 and 2 I've been playing 2K for a long time and I've been playing basketball in real life for even longer and one thing I've noticed when playing online is there's a lot of fans of basketball but they don't really know how to play the game. I'm going to show you guys today how to space the court as a general rule. With good spacing, it makes it way harder to double team. If you watch the top teams in the NBA nowadays, they all have good spacing and movement. Except when screening or cutting around a teammate, perimeter players just space around 12 to 15 feet apart. I'm splitting the court up into low post and high post and left and right of the net. We'll start off with three on the left side of the hoop. And so you got your center, your shooting guard, your point guard, your power forward, and your small forward. Notice how there's never more than three on either side of the court. Three on the left side, two on the right, or three on the high post, two on the low. You should never be close enough to where one defender can guard two players. And for another example, you got a rebounding post scorer, a stretch big, a sharpshooter, a slasher, and a playmaker. Here you have three on the right, two on the left, three in the low post, and two up high. Movement is an important part of spacing. Let's get into some examples of movement and spacing. If a player on your team has the ball, make sure you have enough distance away that if your man were to help, he'd have to make an effort to do it. Here on this fast break, I move to the left side of the hoop so we're not overloaded and get the easy dunk. On fast breaks, find the open space on the court and attack. And hey, sometimes don't get discouraged. Suppose you play good defense on the one end and you're moving down the court and your teammates don't find you, doesn't mean you don't find good spacing regardless, even if they try to go back up on four people. Another great thing about good spacing is that it stretches the defense and turns good shots to great shots. Also, be patient with the ball when you're bringing it up and let your teammates set up and space the floor correctly because you're about to find the that one player who's wide open because his man won't pay a lick of D on him. Splash. Also, if your teammate has the ball, uh, you should move too. You may not get the ball, but find that open spot you like. Get that corner three. That's the best time to get open because the defense is focused on the guy with the ball. And remember in closing, not to overload the court too much. Remember the rule of three and two. And if your teammate has the ball, is moving towards you, move away from them. Unless you're setting a screen or you're cutting to open space. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Follow us at D underscore up underscore gaming on Twitter. This is Jassy from D up gaming and I'm out.